Hey everyone, this is Max, and if you haven't joined us yet, um, I work as a technical animator at High Voltage, and this is the third part of the Mixmo tutorial series. So in this video, what we're going to be doing is learning how to bring the Mixmo auto control rig script into Maya, so that way you can create control rigs and import animations uh, to your characters. All right, so we're going to get started. So I'll delete the one I've already had installed, and we'll start fresh. All right, so what you're going to want to do first is you have to get access to the script. So I have a Dropbox link that will be in the description. Um, it will be a public link, so as long as you have the link, you should be able to access this. I've had this up for years and never had any issues. When The reason why it's this up is because when Adobe bought uh, Mixmo and incorporated them into their company, they took away access to the script and a lot of really awesome uh, information, uh, like download stuff that they had completely free to use or no like in terms of use issues. So um, it's free to use and incorporate into your projects uh, professionally and um, just for you know demo wheels, anything you're working with. So really great tool. Um, and it was no longer up. So what I did is I just made a public link and as long as there's not any issues, I'll keep this up. So what you want to do is we're going to be using the Mixmo auto control rig and we'll just be downloading this. All right, so I already have mine open in my finder here. So here's my script. All right, and I do have my hidden files uh, shown right now. So you might want to just make sure that you don't have any issues with that. And those being seen, I'll just hot and hide mine for right now. All right, so what we're going to do to get started is we're going to open up the script editor. This will kind of show you where the file path is, because uh, the file path does use a hidden file. So what we're going to do is go File, Open Script, and this will kind of let us get to close to the area that we need. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this file path and close out of this right now. I'm going to open up a new file explorer, or you could open up a new finder if you're working on a Mac. What we're going to do is we're going to copy this file path in here. We're going to go back one level, and we're going to go to preps. So instead of the scripts here, we're going to go preps, and then go to this scripts folder. So this is where we're actually going to put um, all the content that this script is going to be grabbing. So now we can have our Mixmo folder here. And again, you don't want to drag the entire control rig folder. You want to just drag this Maya auto control rig. That's it. You don't want the version 160. Because uh, if it's in this folder, it won't be able to find it. So you could drag this over or just copy it. Um, I like just keeping my folder in text of all the information um, always available. So I just copied this over here. Right, so we'll just minimize this right now because uh, we will use this uh, again in a minute. All right, so then what we're going to do is we're going to want to make sure we have the Python tab open. Then what we're going to do here is grab our Python script and we're just going to drag this into this section here. Now, if you put it in the mouse script, it won't work, so make sure you have Python selected. I know what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Control A, it'll select all of the information in this box and hit command a if that's what you're using we'll middle mouse drag this over here into our custom shell and now that we have that in there we'll be able to actually open up the file uh, what we're going to do though uh, if you want to follow along for this step is add an icon in here so that way it's a little bit more visible and easy to see so if you do want to do that we'll do that step next so you'll hit edit on top of that uh, kind of like a little placeholder right now we're going to go to shelves and then we're going to go under icon name and we're going to put this one in all right so i already have mine in here from before but i'll go through this process of how we upload it as well all right so we're going to copy this file path we'll open up the scripts folder we had before so i said to keep this open and again just so you can see it this is the same thing we did. We went to 2020 preps, and before we went to scripts. In this one, we're going to go to icons. All right, so from here, I already have mine in, but all you'd have to do is just take your icon PNG here and just copy this over um, into this folder. All right, and then once that's in, you will be able to kind of open up this icon, and now you'll be able to see it over here. So this will just make it so it's easier to distinguish uh, the different scripts you're using in case you have multiple like I do. 
All right, so from there, all you should have to do is just click on this right here, and it opens up. Now, if this was helpful, uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them below. And if you're running into any issues, um, let me know down as well. Uh, from what I've seen from using different versions of Maya, from starting in like 2016, 15, uh, when uploading these scripts, it's always been the same process. Um, so if you do run into issues in a newer version of Maya than the one I'm using, let me know and we can try to figure that out as well. Okay, well, I hope this video was helpful. Uh, what we're going to be covering in the next part is bringing in a character, rigging it up, and kind of demoing how the actual control rig works. If you have used other uh, kind of like mainstream rigs for animation, from Animation Mentor or iAnimate or different um, tools or professionals that have published these rigs, they're very similar to a lot of those. So you probably won't really need to watch this next part. You might not need it. Uh, but I have found uh, just through comments before that some people do need kind of help explaining how this works. Or if you're using this for a tool for another uh, discipline outside of animation, you might not be familiar with how control rigs work. So kind of going over some of the like bells and whistles and how to set things up, it could be really helpful uh, when working with uh, these control rigs. So that's what the next section will be, how to rig the character, um, and then how to go over that control rig. Right, well, I hope this was helpful and that you'll join uh, me in the next tutorial video. Make sure you subscribe for future content and follow me on the social platforms linked below.